Sorry. Muy bien. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> how, how <laughs> what do you think? Which which bit of the stays do you think you're gonna enjoy the most? Uh, this part I think uh, is really nice because the guys won't go in the breakaway and then all this part is uh, then uh, we start to pull in, pull in, pull in, pull in. I hope here start to be the gruppetto and uh, I hope to be inside and then I right, will finish line. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, we are right uh, very well no? together, uh, super focused now with Egan and try to winning this, uh, this uh, Giro. Uh, the day of Zongolan basically is a flat day with an uphill finish in Zongolan. And the hardest part is uh, three k to go and for sure only DC contenders there, no? Because it's an iconic stage, iconic uh, mountain. Stage 14, a massive day out in the Dolomite. Simon Yates then swept past the pink jersey and Egan Bernal latched onto the wheel of the British climber. Those two riders riding clear from the rest of the GC favourites. In the meantime, the Maglia Rosa made another mighty statement, dropping Simon Yates and riding over the line. Yeah, for sure, defend the jersey, it's not easy. But we show to everybody we did pretty well until now. We are always unit as a team and uh, I think we, we rode really well. Power is the, we create a really good group, group of friends. And uh, that's making a difference sometimes, you know, when all like, not just teammates, but friends. weather for the Queen stage, stage 16 from Sacile to Cortina D'Ampezzo. Egan Bernal attacking Hugh Carthy, Giulio Ciccone, Roman Bardet and Damiano Caruso. The rest dropped away and at the finish line, Colombian fans were anticipating the arrival of Egan Bernal who rode clear uh, towards the top of the Paso Giao. A masterclass on the climb from Egan Bernal and a masterclass on the long descent off the mountain. Yes. It's a great victory. Uh, if you win with the with the Malia Rosa, it's, it's special. Yeah, not every day you win a stage in the Giro with the Malia Rosa. So. It's um, yeah, dream day for us, quite frankly. Uh, in days gone by, maybe in a, in a position that he kind of found himself, maybe in the past, we'd have just kind of played it very efficiently be quite defensive and safe and, and, you know, maybe not the most exciting. He first came to Italy, you know, when, uh, from Colombia, he came to Italy and he's got some real strong affinity with uh, his Italian fans and the people that he stayed with and looked after him when he first came over and joined the club that he raced for in the first instance. So he loves Italy and for him this is, I don't know, it's a team, you know, so it's not only a big deal in what he's done, but the way that he's done it is something that we're all very, very proud of him.